Since Jiao received the inspiration of Buddha and Bodhisattva and recovered from her illness, she continued to worship and recite the Buddha every day. Soon, two years have passed. Her husband, who is a civil construction contractor, received a contract to demolish a two-story building. Accordingly to the agreement that it must be demolished in one month, but if the destruction is not completed, double fine will be imposed. In addition, if anyone is injured or deceased on the job, the contractor will be solely responsible, and it has nothing to do with the owner. However, the building of the museum in the Japanese occupation era was so solid that it could not be easily dismantled. All four walls were made of thick bricks, iron plates, and cement. After a dozen workers kept pounding for a week with hammers and chisels, they merely pounded a big hole. Even a wall had not been torn down. At that time, Chin was very anxious and willing to pay 10,000 yuan to cancel the contract, but the owner refused. Otherwise, he would have to pay more than 100,000 yuan as penalty. Zhao was troubled all day long. Both she and Zhang had no choice but to plead with Amitabha and Guanxi and Pusa again, hoping they would not have to pay a penalty. Early one morning, Zhang suddenly shouted, Mom! Don't cry, no need to worry about the building demolition project. I dreamt last night that Master Sansong, with a mosquito broom in his hand, led a group of golden apes, commanded an heir, and took down the house we are demolishing in an instant. The Buddha's power is boundless, the golden apes are very beautiful. Mom, the hat the Master Sansang is wearing is exactly the same as the one in the movie I saw at a theater a month ago, where Sansong takes the scriptures. Zhang naively told his mother, then both the mother and son knelt and prayed in front of Amitabha Buddha Guanxi and Pusa again and vowed to donate 500 yuan to teacher Li, who was about to set up an orphanage at that time. When one has blessings, there comes inspiring. After Chen listened to Zhang's dream, he thought that monkey pronounces the same as hook in Taiwanese language. He had an idea to hook the wall with a big iron hook, and use a motor to twist the rope. In this way, a piece of the wall fell in a flash. Thus, they hooked down several thick walls in just one day. A few days later, all the walls were taken down completely. In the end, Chen had neither breached the contract nor got penalty. In addition, during the demolishing project, two more unbelievable things happened. Two workers fell from the second floor of the house, actually did not suffer any injuries. The ground was full of brick debris and cement blocks. It's hard to believe how they didn't get hurt. Another thing is that every time before the wall was hooked down, they must check all around to see if there were workers nearby to prevent people from being crushed. Once right after Chen checked, a female worker suddenly came to work. A wall happened to tumble, with a difference of only two inches, and she was almost crushed to death. Many workers asked Mrs. Chen, Zhao, why is the landmaster of your family so inspiring that he blesses you every time? Zhao said, my family is not a worshipper of landmaster, instead, we worship three saints of the West, one Buddha and two Bodhisattvas. We recite Amit Wofo and Guanxi and Pusa every day. During Sunday's Dharma lecture and chanting class, Zhao came with a smile and donated 500 yuan to the newly built orphanage. She asked me to send it on her behalf and also said that the success of this project was all due to the inspiration by the great compassion of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Once again, she told the public what happened before and after. At that time, the class members all spoke in unison, praising the boundless magic power of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, which was inconceivable, and praised the piety of Jawa and her son.